Hello, and thank you for joining us. I'm Adam with TAT Express, and today we're gonna to be covering low compression on a DD-13. We're gonna be talking about the troubleshooting steps that we took to find the root cause of the problem. Now these steps can be taken on a DD-15 or a DD-16, so keep all this in mind. Thanks again for joining us, and if you like this type of content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, you can call us at 972-225-3017. We are located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas, 75241. Let's get right into this video. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be discussing is what the driver is reporting. The driver is reporting low power and an audible miss. Now, the audible miss is something that you can hear really easy. The first thing that we do is a visual inspection. During our visual inspection, we found signs of coolant being pushed out of the coolant reservoir. Now you can see dry coolant around the bottle. Those are just all signs that the pressure of whatever is happening inside this engine is going into the cooling system. We have excessive pressure in the cooling system. Now that's a, a really an indicator of a head gasket or a, or a bad head, but we're gonna troubleshoot everything above that before we go ahead and pinpoint the problem. The first thing we do is, of course, hook up the computer. The computer is verifying that we have an issue with number six. Now, as I mentioned before, the computers are a very useful tool. What we did is a compression test, and a relative compression test verifies that number six has low compression. Now, before we pinpoint, hey, this is the issue, a head gasket or a head, we need to verify everything above that. So we could have a bent valve, valves out of adjustment, an issue going on with an injector. These are all things that we need to cancel out before digging in more into this engine. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna end up doing is removing the valve cover and inspecting the valves. I have the rocker assembly actually removed here, so I wanna discuss what to look for on the rocker assembly before actually moving on to your next step. Okay, so we have the valve assembly removed here on the table and you're not gonna go this far just yet. First, we're gonna verify that we have valves that are out of adjustment. And the reason, reason why you wanna check this is because this rocker assembly rides on the cam and when the cam lobe rises, it pushes down the valve to open and close it. If you have a valve that's not opening and closing correctly, that compression needs to be released somewhere and it can cause a failed head gasket and cause you some issues. Now, before we go down to the head gasket, we wanna verify we don't have anything happening up top so that when we do the repair, we don't have this failure again. When you're checking the valve, the, the rocker assembly, what you wanna do is look at the adjustment bolts. These adjustment bolts are all one piece. They have a lock nut on top. What you wanna verify is they're not out of adjustment. You can run your whole, head, whole overhead valve adjustment to verify but the visual inspection is also good. You wanna check the threads and ensure that everything looks uniform. You wanna look at the tapper on the adjustment bolt to verify it's not missing. These are all indicators that you have a good valve assembly working correctly. Look at the roller and ensure that the roller is not wore out. You can see, definitely see indications of wear. If, if there is a roller that's bad, that's just not gonna let that valve open up. So this is, the valve, this is the rocker assembly removed from the rocker assembly of housing here on the table so that you can actually see what's going on. Now, if we, we've already done the valve adjustment on this particular engine. This is why we already have it removed. We did not have a change in our readings once we did do our valve adjustments. We still had low compression on number six. The next step that we took is replacing the injector. We have the old injector here in, in a fuel bucket, but we replaced the injector because the injector is what's reading this compression test. So if we have a faulty injector, that's gonna give us a, a low reading. Now, all the other indicators are showing us that we have compression, verifying compression going in the cooling system, but we still wanna verify what, what caused this to happen because we don't wanna do this repair and we have a bent valve or we have some bad rocker assembly and this failure can happen again. The injector, after the injector was replaced, we still have low compression on number six. So this is just verifying everything that it is something mechanical, something going below the valve train. So we would have to remove the head to verify that we have a head gasket failure or something going on with the head. The next item I wanna show you, I wanna give you a view of what's going on up top so you can understand more of how this rocker assembly works and where it actually is sitting at. 
So let's move over to the top of the engine and take a look at that. Okay, so we're at the top of the engine. As I mentioned, before you get this far, we're gonna be making sure valves are not out of adjustment. We did replace the injector, we retested, and we're still showing low compression on number six. So I wanna show you how all this works up here. We have the rocker assembly, as I mentioned at the table. The rocker assembly bolts on here to the camshaft housing and is right in here on the cam. And as soon as this cam lobe is raised, that's whenever we're pushing the valve stems down and open up the valves. Now, this is why we want to check this. This is the exhaust side we still haven't pulled off yet. We're going to be pulling that off as well. Ensure your jig brakes aren't getting stuck. We want to make sure the valves are opening and closing correctly before pulling this all apart because if it is a head gasket and we do have something going on up here with the valve, the valve train, it can definitely fail again. So another thing is we want to be checking to see if these valves are actually bent. You can put a leveler across these valves to see if you have any kind of bent. Uh, bent indication or any indications of being bent. Uh, that's another reason why when I was telling you to check the threads to ensure that nothing is over over adjusted and under adjusted and that could be because of we have some issues with the valve. The, the cam lobe looks good. Everything looks good here. So it doesn't look like it's going to be the cam. It doesn't look like it's going to be the rocker valves or injector. So as I mentioned earlier, our next step is going to be we're pulling, pulling this head completely off and inspecting the, the cylinder head gasket. So that's what we're going to be coming to on this particular engine. We don't have the head off yet, but I just wanted to discuss with you why we came down to this particular area and what we're going to be doing to repair this truck. Thank you for watching. I hope this information was useful. As I mentioned to you before, you can use these same troubleshooting and inspection steps on a DD-15 or a DD-16. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, you can call us at 972-225-3017. We are located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas 75241. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you're notified when we go live or when we release a new video. Till next time, be safe.